You know what the real nightmare on Elm Street is? It's the fact that after all these years, that chapter of Dead by Daylight is still the only licensed chapter without a single customizable option since release. When DBD released their nightmare chapter, I was enamored with both Quentin and Freddy, and in fact they were the only two characters in the game that I actually invested blood points into during the old days. Which you can tell by their comically lonely red portraits in my current Dead by Daylight character selection screen. And even though I've realistically resigned myself to the fact that they will never receive any licensed cosmetics, Due to whatever behind the scenes legal mumbo jumbo there is, I can't help but dream. Something I honestly should not do regarding a Freddy chapter. But if Behavior and the Craven Estate ever do decide money is nice and get some long overdue licensed cosmetics in the game, here are the concepts I would like to see. Starting with Quentin, I have two very specific cosmetics that I think would both fly off the shelf. Firstly, I have always wanted and will always want the addition of Speedo Quentin from when he bursted out of the water in the dream world. With his little neck goggles and all, I think this cosmetic has been heavily desired by the Quentin community since his inception into the game, and nothing has changed in 2023 either. The only difference we have now is that we know Behavior is willing to do a shirtless model, so realistically, we're a bit closer to that dream. Furthermore, if Speedo Quentin was ruled out, I also think they could do a legendary outfit, kind of like Jonathan Byers from Stranger Things or Carlos from Resident Evil, in which they create Glenn from the original Nightmare films. Because just imagining Johnny Depp in a sports crop top running around the fog has me immediately believing this skin would have the potential to be one of the most purchased in the game. Plus, imagine the cannon falling straight through his bed into the fog. We just would have to forget about all the Glenn blood that spewed right back up in the film. The main issue with this process is it would take more legal magic, as technically the Nightmare license is for the remake, not the original film. But if they could hammer that out, I would love to see Johnny Depp in the fog. Now moving on to Freddy, I admit I find him harder to think of cosmetic-wise, just due to how iconic his look truly is. I do, however, believe that a pre-burned Freddy Krueger could be an interesting concept. Instead of his iconic claws, his weapon could be like a mini garden rake, and seeing the man before the monster would be an interesting idea for the game. If we can all get past the initial shock of this short gardener chasing us in game to keep us off presumably the entity's lawn. Anywho, these have been my quick thoughts on licensed cosmetics for the Nightmare Chapter. What are your thoughts and what concepts would you like to see in the game whether about the nightmare chapter or any chapter in this game, let me know in the comments down below. Until then, peace.